You are carrying. Where did you get it from? It's Edna's child. She had the baby and died. And she pleaded with me to keep the baby no matter what happens. Ah. Poor woman. We will discuss that later. I've got to see James. There's nothing to discuss later because I'm keeping the child. Besides, James was smothered tonight. What? Murdered? By who? By your cousins. There were three of them. Edna only saw two. One was in the shadow. But unfortunately, that's the situation. I got the information. So, Uncle, it's true. It is true. I've gone to see the bodies of James and his wife. So I came to see the baby. Oh. 
think it's already in those. What do we do now? Call a family meeting and bury them. This is a serious murder case. Uh, Daniel, I, I believe your men should investigate this terrible occurrence. Oh, no. Until after the burial. And what do you think? Mm, I think for now we should keep it all in the family. Besides, um, there was so much negative publicity and I don't think we'd like to take that for now. It's getting quite late. I suggest we all retire so we can uh, get together in the morning and make the burial arrangements. Well, And I can be sure to tell my company that there will be no primary problem connected to this land. No! It's a family land. A uh, family land. No problem at all. I don't have to worry about that. No, no, no not at all. all. And you can guarantee that. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, I feel happy. Thank you, Thank you and goodbye. Bye -bye. So, Thank you very much. What is remaining is you have really done a good yes. job. What eh? is remaining is the paper, the documents and everything. After that, no problem. So, does it mean they are going to pay us for the land immediately? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, yes, Mr. Stone. They want to know when the money will be paid. It will be paid as soon as possible next week. Next week. Thank you. News. It's going to pay immediately. Your brother, the Iroko, will pick the check from me. Ah. Yes. When, when? Next week. So, that means you come to Lagos next week. And uh, next week. This is next week? Yes. Uh, but don't forget my court. Ah, no, no problem. No, no problem. No problem. Ah. Yes. Ah, no, no, no. Yeah. So, safe journey. Huh? Yeah? Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yes. Okay. I saw what you brought for me the other day. As a matter of fact, I did not expect it, but, uh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> it's nothing, Uncle. We came to thank you for showing understanding concerning the land matter. And also for making sure that uh, James's death did not go further than this. Thank you. Well, as the oldest member of the family, I had to do my duty besides, you know, James had died, and uh, 
there was no point going to attract all the negative publicity for the family. So exactly. I decided uh, <laughs> he shouldn't go further than that. Jones lived in the past. He did not understand the changing times. After all, so what is the point? We, having planned rich in oil, yet members of our family were suffering, language and hardship. I told him, let us sell this land to Shell. So that those of us in trading business will have money to improve on our business. But he refused. Times are changing, and the life is all about time. Anyone that refuses to change with time should be removed. Please, can we now go and see the land? Um, let us not be too much in a hurry. That land is the last piece of land we have with oil on it. If we sell all of them, what shall we leave for our children? I say, let us go. He's always on the negative side. Let us go on the right side. Whether you like it or not, I'll tell the lie. Okay. Other people have been telling us this is my son. I'm not saying what you want to say the lie. What will you leave for your children? children? That is not my business. The ones I have now will turn them before I die. Before you die. Yes. Then after your death, what will happen to them? Anything that happens, that's. that's you can't say that land. That is past you. Eh? Uncle said we should give him for the market. For the market, what? Back it for the market. Don't do it. You remember our ancestors and our gods. They fight for themselves.
Matilda. Yes. Did you know her? Yes, of course. You know her. Then your son, who is much older than her, came and told you that this tiny thing beat him up and you came and called him to come and fight for you. Eh? You should be ashamed of yourself. Nonsense. You, you this child, you are a disgrace to me. You are not ashamed of yourself. Come and move. of Mama's soup that brought you, right? Yes, this is my favorite soup. Okay. So, let me get you your food. your little daughter has been driven out by your own power. We now ask you to take the glory and dominion over her body. Amen. It shall never be the same again with her Amen. because she has known God today. Amen. I cover her with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father. Thank you, we thank you, Lord. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We thank you, Father. Did you feel or see anything while I was praying for you? Do you feel any harm? Uh, Sister Julie, take her home. She's all right. Pastor, when this thing happened, she appeared so calm. It was like light was coming out from her eyes. Come, come, come. come. I can't see anything except brown eyes. You see, when the light hits, be it electricity or moonlight, hits her pupils, it has a way of giving out an iridescent light like the cat. In her own case, she has brown eyes like the cat. Otherwise, there is nothing wrong with her. Take her home and pray always. Prayer is the only way you can communicate to your God. But Pastor, I'm Sister telling you... Sister Julie, uh, Lucy, please wait for your mom aside. Sister Julie, I would like to believe that your daughter is alright. But my spirit testifies differently. Pastor. What is wrong with her? And I cannot understand the mystery of it. It's so strange. You are blessed. Go home and pray. Take her home. I'm scared. There is no need to be worried. It will be all right. God has heard our prayer. I believe you are coming to this church to give your testimony.
now, my sweetheart, on this occasion of your birthday, mm. I'd like to propose a toast to your health, to wish you joy and happiness, and also to present to you a little gift from the bottom of my heart. Hip, hip, hooray!
so many times. So stop seeing that girl in your office. That means I shouldn't go to work. Because if I go to work, I'll see her. Then fire her. And hire a male as a secretary. Why should I fire her? She does a good job for me. I can imagine the kind of good job she does for you. You're not ashamed to go at her in the office like animals in heat. <laughs> Julie, how do you know that? You think I don't know what happens there? You go to the office every day and come back here spent. You don't even notice I'm a woman. What does she have that I don't have anyway? Julie, please, will you leave me alone? I will leave you alone. But remember, if you don't weed your farm for a harvest, someone else will. There is nothing to harvest. For so many years, I have been spending time and energy cultivating my farm. Yet, I haven't got a single fruit not to talk of a harvest. But we have Lucy. She's like a child to us. What is like? is not what is, no matter how in life it is. in an hour's time, okay? Lucy, are you still sleeping? Lucy, oh my God, Lucy, what is it? Are you all right? Huh? I heard your talk last night. What? So I am not your child. Oh my God. There is no need to panic. I just want to know who my real parents are and where they are now. Before I say anything, I want you to know that I love you so much and I will always love you as if you were my own child. And I'm sure that PJ loves you too. I appreciate it. This is what happened. Edna! Edna! Edna, what? Edna, what is wrong with you? What is it? Julie, please. Help. My baby. How to you? Take care of her. Let me take you home. Let me take you home. Okay? Let's go. Let's go. I, eh? It's late. I, I can't make it. They've killed my husband. Who killed James? Who killed James? His brother. Of them because of land documents. Greg and Anthony. You, you said there were three. Who is the third person? Edna, Edna, Edna. Can, can you hear me? You said there were three. Who is the third person? He was. He did. My husband. Edna. Edna. Edna, wait. 
baby. Edna, wait, 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 wait. Wait, Ed Edna, Edna, Edna.
else? What? I don't know. I don't know. I think I've done something. When? I don't know. I just woke up feeling that, feeling like that. Then it must be a nightmare. I'm sure, I'm sure you just had a bad dream. No. Come on. No. It's okay. It's okay. No, Mama. No. <laughs> Somebody, Mama. What we think it is, maybe it's nothing. <laughs> so, how are you feeling now? Much better. 
Mm. Except for a little bit of itching in my throat. Yeah, it's suspected. <laughs> Um, look, do you want something to drink? Mm -hmm. I, could mm -hmm. get you. No, no, no. I have to run. I'm sure Mama is waiting. <laughs> I'm not picky. Oh dear. Take care of yourself, okay? Yes. Uh, Let's we'll see. Yes? You have to be very careful. There's a lot happening around you that smells of danger. I can't really place my hands in it, but it could be very tragic. I certainly hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> Take care of yourself. I'll see you soon. something to show both of you. Okay, Dad. Safety. I can't take chances anymore. These two gentlemen will from now on be your bodyguards. This is pain in white cup, and the other one is called accident. Pain will always be at the gate with the gate man, while accident will always be by the door. And when you are going out, one of them will accompany you. Incidentally, they are both good drivers and karate experts. Gentlemen, can you retire to your posts now? until attempts are made on their own lives. Listen, the two of you are the most precious things I've got. Mm. And I'm not about to lose you. Darling, can I have my love? Oh, yes, darling. We, we do appreciate it. Okay? So, 
to your special lunch. I said, <laughs> help me out, please. Okay, Mom. Limited. That's all I can tell you. Nothing more. Something is wrong somewhere. Otherwise, how can members of our family be dropping dead one by one? What is all this? Strange. I'm sure it's our business competitors. They are not happy with our progress, perhaps. I must get all of them. 
no matter whatever it takes me. We will not do so. See, what I find most disturbing is this sign of the moon that is drawn beside their bodies. I can't understand this thing. Hmm? If a member of this family is doing this thing, that person is accountable to me. Daniel, you have to expedite action of this issue. I know the police is already doing something, but look, you are all we've got. You have to do something to ensure that this thing does not get out of hand. Please. You want to know the mystery behind the sign of the moon? Uh, you will not understand, but I will try and rest your fears. Mm. What is happening now is a harvest. A harvest is what marks the end of a session uh, time, it follows a spiritual and natural law that says, whatever a man sows, that shall he reap. <laughs> How? Many years ago, 26 years to be precise, some of you conspired to kill your brother, and you did, so as to sell the family land. And when you did, you all became rich and went to live in the city. Now the day of harvesting is here. Those of you who committed the crime will pay. Baba, what can be done to... Of course, you all know that that night, your brother's wife gave birth to a baby girl in the glare of moonlight. The moon is a symbol of intelligence and energy. It empowers the process of retribution. I cannot advise you on what to do. The divine law must take its course. You may go now.
Yes, who are you? I got you. Yes, who are you? Good afternoon. I got the same maker call you pay DC for us. Look at your ID card. Yes, sir. Turn your bad man, I see your company name. Okay. 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 Since you were born, I knew there was something evil about you. But I wish I had succeeded in killing you before now. Tonight, when it's dark, kill her and dump her in the lagoon. No mistakes. No problem. Thank you, sir.
of a forest guard, Bobo. He needs to be paid. We need medical food supplies. We've been needing a lot of things. We need boats to cross the island. By the time we're, we're, we're through with the money, you get to know. Okay, that, 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 that's okay. Um, you, you have a deal. Um, but listen, well, let, me, let me pay you half a million. One million naira or no deal. If you're ready, I am ready. That's, that's okay. Uh, you, you've got a deal. But listen, um, I have, we have to pass through Lagos so I can inform my wife that I'm traveling. All right? Uh, 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 let, uh, let me warn you. What? If this is a ploy to extort me, I'll be the first to kill you, okay? That's your problem. <laughs> Wants to get to the 
cave to see the wise one. Bobo, I know you're the only one that can do this for us. Eh, Bobo? Where Did you tell him how risky it is to get up there? Yes, he does. He did, eh? I did, eh? Um, Bobo, Bobo, we are learning you, Bobo. It's going to cost them money. But money is no problem. Plenty of money. Money is no problem. Eh? Please, please, Bobo, you know, this is a matter of life and death. And you're the only one that can see us Eh, Bobo? No problem about money. Hmm? Oh. Then? Eh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, that's my turn. Mm -hmm. Now I can drink something. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes. yes sir. You're now I can drink something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my friend PJ, sir. Bobo. Mm -hmm. In that case, you're welcome to the island of death. Is it telling? They are Zunga people. They are Zunga? Zunga people, yes. And they are very dangerous. They are cannibals. <laughs> Hey! 
going to
Ahora. Why fight fake? And you, the son of my friend, why start what you can't finish? Father, Father, please don't stand with us. <laughs> you know, you have to go through a lot to get to this place. And you're the only person that can help. Father, my friend, PJ here. He's in trouble and he needs your help. Father, don't send us back, please. All right. Mm. What troubles you? PJ, please. Mm. Oh, yes. The moon girl. Yes, Father. Mm. Your daughter. Yes, you, you know about her? I, I, I need your help. If you don't help me, she'll kill me. You shall have read what you saw. No, sir, I yes, yes, sir, I help you. But I can help you. Yes. If you can help yourself. I'll do anything you say. Source of her power. Oh, yes. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, the moon will be at the point at which it will radiate highest energy. That means she will be in her deadness to nature. Before then, the moon will rise briefly and fade. You will then come to kill you. Upon this insult, draw a circle in your palace. When she enters, the insects will within her. Put her in the circle. By this time, the moon has disappeared. She will be weak. But don't kill her. Apologize to her. I will, Father. Yes. If you allow her out of the circle without apologizing to her, and the moon rises again, in full intensity. You are in trouble. That is all. I suppose you people will stay the night with me. Cause it's getting late. Oh, no. um.
Through this now. I'm so scared. I have the feeling something is wrong somewhere. You know, sometimes I think you fret so much about Lucy. I just wonder. She's 26 now, remember? I know. But then this is different. That once in a while a young girl is bound to sleep over in her boyfriend's place. Not that we should allow that anyway, but it does happen. But then this is different. I'm so scared. I feel something is wrong with her. Anyway, I'm going to stop over at the last place and check her on my way to the market. No. Don't worry about that. I'll do that because Stella's house is on my way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Look, Lucy means so much to you, just as she does to me. After all, she's all we've got. Okay, I'll finish up in the kitchen. What about the two bodyguards? Oh, I've dismissed them. You people don't use them. And so I thought uh, there's no need for them to just hang around.
dress yourself, okay? Sleep well, darling. Good night. Not to worry. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. And let's go by. I've come doing something this wrong with my nose. <laughs> Not to worry. Listen, tomorrow morning, very early in the morning, I'll go to the police and make a report, okay? For now, you need to sleep, relax, and take things easy. Just, just sleep. You need it. I'm scared. I'll be in my room. Uh, I have some important files to attend to, okay? Nothing is going to happen to you. Just relax. Take it easy. Mama! <laughs> 
away from that place. Stay out of this house. I'll kill the two of you. What's the meaning of all this? He's the chairman. Why are you holding a gun? He's the chairman, Mama. Who is the chairman? He's the same person that killed my parents. Stay out of this house. I'll blow your head off. Leave my room. You're the one that has been in the dark all along. 